Well, this week we've brought you stories of student athletes who've overcome great adversity to return to their sport. These inspiring students are being honored tonight at the Brady Sports Achievement Awards. Eyewitness Sports reporter Rich Nye is the MC of the event tonight, and he joins us live now from the Indiana Roof Ballroom. Rich? Good evening. The tables are set for tonight's event. It has been my privilege this week to share with you some incredible stories. And the four athletes we profile will receive their Brady Comeback Awards tonight, including a runner who survived a 30-foot fall. Two, three, four, one, two. The concert band at Bishop Knoll Institute in Hammond plays happy. And the only trombone player is. I guess I was a little dour and cynical before um, at times, and now I'm just, I'm very happy all the time. Hey, Mr. Cody. Senior Nick Anglin is also busy all the time. I would say there's nothing he can't do. Like he's an athlete and then he's in drama club and he's valedictorian, so he's pretty well rounded. Nick is also an Eagle Scout, which took him to Randsburg Scout Reservation in Bloomington as a counselor last summer. On August 1st, he fell 30 feet in a zip line accident. And then I heard and felt something snap and I thought, oh, that's not good. And there was a second of pure terror and then I blacked out. So 30 feet back to the camera. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite a fall, isn't that it? That is. Nick has a long scar on his repaired right arm, but more serious was his bulging, descending aorta. The largest artery in his body was nearly torn open when Nick hit the ground. So they cut me from around here to behind the left shoulder blade and then spread the ribs a little bit and collapsed my left lung and then cut into my heart and inserted the polyester tube. The fact that he's still alive, I think, is the more, uh, the, the crazy part, that he was able to survive a 30-foot fall and, and all, the, all, all the things he went through. The cross-country coach never expected to see Nick run last fall, but his teammates did. I wasn't amazed at all. Uh, I mean, coming from Nick, that this is what we expect from him because he's so outstanding. Nick returned across country by mid-September. He could not match his times from his junior season, but provided inspiration. When you're running in a race and you think that you have some kind of pain or anything, you just think back, he just came back from major, major fall and something catastrophic. So it really made your complaints sound kind of like minuscule. It was more of a, a spiritual sort of victory for me that I had, that I had overcome the mental discouragement and kept on doing it even though I didn't get back to where I had wanted to. His life plays to a slightly different tune now. I'm enjoying life a lot more and uh, realizing that every day is a little miracle. Follow your heart, but take your brain with you. I like that. <laughs> Nick graduates soon but says he might come back to teach at his high school. Congratulations. Thank you. He's also going back to camp this summer and back on the zip line. Nick will receive his comeback award here tonight at the Indiana Roof Ballroom, and I'm honored to be the MC for tonight's Brady Sports Achievement Awards. Channel 13 is a proud partner, along with Methodist Sports Medicine and the Indiana High School Athletic Association for tonight's event. And Scott and Ann Marie, I just hope that these stories have inspired all of us for whatever obstacle we may face.